Hello and welcome to WEEP instructional videos. My name is Stephanie and today we'll be learning about how to transfer your models to other people, including the data that you've saved inside your models. Now, we're looking here at a pretty simple model of the Peloponnese Peninsula in Greece. So far I've got a catchment shape file, a catchment object, runoff infiltration link feeding into the river that goes to the outlet gauge by the sea. If I wanted to email this, I would go to area, manage areas, and I can click this button, email, and that brings up a window that has my name and the person that I might want to send it to, uh, in this case, Jack. And I could write a description about what I've been doing with the model and what I'd like him to do, for example, and I have this option to send a copy to myself. Let's cancel out for a second. That's easy enough. But what about this gauge data that we have here? Well, I haven't filled it out yet. Let's right click on it and go to Edit Data, Streamflow Data. Now, I have some data saved in my folder in my Dropbox called Demo. Soil moisture model data, we've probably seen this before in other videos, it's my example data. And if we open this up, we can see that it's got data for precipitation, for temperature, for wind, and for stream flow. And notice too that I've got this nice directive here that has a certain format for precipitation, temperature, wind speed, and stream flow, where the units are in brackets. So I could attach my data from this folder. So I could open this up, go to my read from file wizard, go to Dropbox, find that demo folder, and plug it in. And I can't show you the whole window, but you can see that it populates precipitation, temperature, wind speed, and I can go down. There's my stream flow data that I want. Remember, this is just the part that shows you what's in the file. Here is where you'd actually have to pick uh, what you want to populate. And also remember that I have that directive typed in with the units and everything, so that's why it's populating like this. And save finish. So, if I make this smaller, you can see, read from file wizard, Stephanie, Dropbox, demo, SMM data. Now this is the path that we populates. You can imagine that if I emailed this to somebody else, and Weep starts looking on their computer for users, Stephanie, Dropbox, Demo, it's not gonna find it. So instead what we have to do is think about where we need to save our data so it will actually get sent to our collaborators when we are emailing it through the Weep system. So this would not be correct. This path Weep would not be able to find on someone else's computer. So let's talk for a moment about where the models are saved on our computer. Now, your computer might be different, but when you download Weep, the default is for Weep to ask you to save the Weep Areas folder under Documents. So here you can see Libraries, Documents, and I'll scroll down. And there's a folder called Weep Areas that was put in here when I first downloaded Weep. And if I open this up, there's some default files at the top, but otherwise you can see the names of all of my different Weep Areas that I've ever modeled on this computer. And when you send that Weep area to a collaborator, when they open it up, a folder with the name of that Weep area immediately gets made in their Weep areas folder. And all of the data that's saved in the Weep file, so we can find Greece, which in this case, you know, there isn't much in here just yet, but all of the data in the Weep file transfers to this folder and now it's on their computer. So what I'm actually gonna do now is create a new folder and save data, and then I'll go back to that demo folder that I had earlier and take the data from here, so copy, there he is, Greece, into my data folder, paste. Okay, so now when I go back to my Weep model, I'm going to use the read from file wizard again, but this time Instead of looking for data in my Dropbox, I'm going to instead look for data in that Weep folder that I just had. So here we're still in demo. So I'll go back, I'll open up my documents, 
and scroll down to weak areas, scroll down to Greece, and there's my data folder and my soil moisture method data. And remember, we want to make sure that it's the stream flow that's being put into the gauge and not any of the other data columns. All right, so let's close out of this. Now we can see when we read it that it's read from file data slash SMM data. So it's right in that folder, the grease folder in the weep areas. Now there's one other thing that I'd like to show, which is that you can always save versions of your model and transfer those as well. So when I say save version, I'm gonna name this version data saved from weep folder. And when I go to send my email now, manage areas, email, I have this option to include previous versions. So click on that and here are my different versions. And here's one called data saved from weep folder. So I would check this and this would be the only version that it would send. Now, if you don't have any versions saved, it's just gonna send whatever was the most recent thing that you saved. Uh, but this gives you a little bit more control. So you can say, okay, previous versions are included, and then I would click send, but I won't. So the whole point of this is to remember that when you are adding data to your week model that's attached externally from your computer, it's really best to save it within the specific week area in the week areas file so that when you transfer the model, all of those bits of data will be included in the transfer. This has been a week instructional video. Good luck with your models.